we're going to talk about the um, ornament I call a flick. Uh, some call it a crayon. I'm sure there are lots of other names. Um, here's what they sound like. So what's happening? Um, it looks like a grace note. That would be a grace note, where you actually play either before or during or after a regular note, you play another note. Um, the difference here is we're not actually going to play another note. Um, we're just going to quickly place our finger down, really just enough to interrupt the sound. <clears throat> and what we get is more of a percussive effect than a melodic effect. Um, and if you think about the, um, the sounds of, of highland pipes, I feel like that's a place where you can really um, hear this same sort of sound that we're going for. Um, so the, the degree of playing that we're trying to get is if you play, play your open A string, and then you're just going to touch your finger down. You're not going to press, you're just going to touch the string while you play. And then um, actually leave it down, yeah. So you get this sort of harmonic -y sound, uh, by which I mean harmonics, not harmonica. Um, by itself, it's not terribly appealing. Um, but as an interrupting sound, if you play A, put the finger down, and quickly pick it back up again. It, um, it was really a nice effect, I think. Um, you can use any of your fingers. Um, I usually use my third finger, um, unless I need to use my fourth finger because I'm, my main note that I'm playing is my third finger. Sometimes I use my second finger. So um, the open string is the easiest place to start. So play, tap, and lift back up. And it wants to be so light that sometimes you're going to miss, and that's OK. Paired with this, um, with my bow, I'm giving a little extra push to the bow. Um, I call that a pulse bow. So I'm either giving a little pull with my pointer finger um, down on the bow to kind of give it not quite a crunch, but um, more power. Sometimes I'm using my whole hand. Sometimes I'm using kind of my arm to pull my arm in a different way. Um, there's a great Bruce Mulski education teaching video somewhere um, where he's talking about making, I think, a figure eight with your hand and getting sort of the same effect. So there's the pulse bow, which I wasn't really thinking I was going to discuss in this video, but it's also a great technique. Um, and I use it in combination with the flick. So I'm pulling and then flicking and pulsing at the same time. Um, you can also play um, other notes besides open strings and flick on them. So if I'm playing a B, first finger. Um, the biggest temptation people have when they're doing this is to play a, something that's actually a grace note and actually put their finger all the way down. So the trick is to just lightly tap it down. Um, it doesn't really matter where you hit the string. The farther away you are from your principal note, which in this case would be the B, um, the more impact the sound's going to have, but it's such a short period of time. It really, um, you know, it doesn't matter if my third finger lands not in the third finger place, it could land anywhere I want. In fact, sometimes when I'm teaching this, I encourage people to kind of flatten their finger out and just flop it down to get them away from playing the specific note. Because I don't want, in this case, there's nothing
nothing wrong with that sound, but it's a different effect. Um, this is a flick is something that I often use at the very beginning of a note. Um, so there is the first finger one, second finger one. C sharp or C natural. Um, here sometimes people would use their fourth finger to get a bigger distance away. And then when you're playing a third finger note like this D, you of course need to use your fourth finger. And it's the same on all the strings. You can play a scale if you want, or it's probably more fun to just put it right into a tune. Um, I tend to use them on downbeats um, or other notes I might want to emphasize. And again, I'm flicking and often doing a bow, bow pulse at the same time to emphasize, usually because all the things that I'm doing, I'm trying to emphasize um, a particular beat, either the pattern of downbeats um, or um, often the offbeat. I'm a dance fiddler and um, primarily, and so I'm, I like to put a lot of push into the upbeats to keep people feeling moving lightly on the dance floor. Um, so let's see, a good place for some flicks. You can put them um, reels, marches, jigs, waltzes. Um, they're good everywhere. Um, how about a march? On the, Dan on the Danforth by uh, Vermont musician Keith Murphy, um, and that's all I've got to tell you about flicks today.